And we're back. And we're back. You see, this is show. Wartime Zoom stack number 199. This is the 199th year we have supposed to have with us. Yosef Atzadik. And um, we are learning in the schuss of the soldiers and in the schuss of the, of the captives. Captives, everyone who's caught in the propaganda. The soldiers, everyone who's trying to free them. And of course, the soldiers and the captives, Shalom Aleichem, Avi Mairi. So good Shalom to see him. you. It's such a schuss. Um. Okay, I have this pencil or this pen. Here's the pencil, all right? So, for Rasechis Beitza, Dabdalid Amr Aleph. So, Shalom Aleichem Zigirach Zalman. So, we were ending Shir yesterday with a very interesting thing. You don't see it in the Gemara so much, but the Gemara says, uh, actually, what he was saying was an exaggeration. Tanya, because it says in the Brisa, and maybe we're seeing the Rashi's over here, but still, let's let's see the exaggeration. The Tanya, Acherim over there. Who is Acherim? Acherim was Rabbi Meir. Ah, Shalom Aleichem, DVJ, and we're back. Acherim, Acherim. They wouldn't know who Acherim was. Acherim was Rabbi, Rabbi Meir. Meir. Oh, I hit myself in the face. I didn't mean to to uh, to say the answer before you knew. Say it, and I knew you knew. So Rabbi Meir was a cherem. Why did they call him a cherem? Because his Rebbe was a cherem. So they called him a cherem. Rabbi Meir says, a cherem says. And when, a, 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 oh, when a cherem used to ride his horse on Shabbos, Rabbi yeah. Meir used to walk next to him. Yeah. And then a would tell him, like, how many steps? Yeah, yeah. and so his, his Talmudim asked him, like, how can you do this? And he said, like, something, I don't remember exactly what he said. He said something like, like, you can't even come to his toe in Torah or something like that. I, we learned that we learned these Gemaras in Shiva's Gulashal. It's in the second paragraph of Chagiga. Um, so Acherim, is, Rabbi Meir says, in the name of Rabbi Eliezer, wait, in the name of Rabbi Eliezer, Beitza, Tochal Hibi'ima. So we're saying, because so, we quoted a bright stuff from Rabbi Meir earlier that said that the, the, that the egg you eat, the egg and the mom. And so the Gemara is like, wait a second, obviously, if you can eat the egg, you can eat the mom, if you can eat the mom, you can eat the egg. What is, what is going on here with this language? Why does he tell us you can eat the egg and you can eat the mom? So he says, he's just exaggerating. That's the answer of the Gemara. He's just exaggerating. Blush on Guzma. You know that? Right? So it says Guzma Kitani Titania because it says in a Brisa, Acherim Omrim, Mishum Rebbe Yezer Beitza. You eat, you eat the Beitza, you eat the egg, and the mom, and the chick, and the shell. So we're like, what the shell? What are you talking about the shell? So the words, so say, oh yeah, it's just um, exaggerating. So we're, we saw this yesterday, and now we're just gonna see it in the Rashi. Um, so he says you can eat. Right, you eat the shells. What are you talking about? The shell? What are you talking about? The shell? If you're talking about the shell, Mamish, the shell. So let's see what Rashi says about the shell. Usually we see the Gemara and then we see Rashi. First we see the whole Gemara, but now we're doing Chazara. Um, so Guzma Kitani says, We actually did see this Rashi. That was the last Rashi we saw about this exaggeration. It's a person who wants to strengthen his words, so he speaks extra. So he says, like, yeah, you can eat the egg. You, know, you know how much you can eat the egg? You can eat this egg. Not only can you eat the egg, you can also eat his mom and his dad. That's what Rashi says. Av. There's a there's a uh, a note from Rashi says, Av. I bet he's going to say, Ben, I aim the mom and also like the son. And so why does why does oh, why does the Gemara say why does Rashi have to tell why does the the tziyunim, on the side, have to tell us, no, no, Rashi says the father and the mother, but really Rashi's saying the mother and the son, or the daughter, right, the, the mom and the kid. Why does Rashi have, why does that, why does this thing on the side have to come and tell us that? Because the big kasha, how do you know who the dad of the chicken is? Ah, so therefore you have to say he's talking about the kid. Okay, so, 
Um, so it says, Mike Klippa. So if you say Mamish, the Klippa, if you're going to say Mamish, it's the Klippa, you're going to eat the shell. So Klippa Basachili, where you're going to eat the shell, Ela Efroach Pik Klippa, so you're going to eat, you're going to eat the chicken, the, the chick in its egg. So we say, Adkan, locally, Gira, but I led the Rebbe Elizabeth and Yaakov. The rabbis didn't argue with Rebbe Yaakov. Ela Echa, the Yatzala Avir Olam, and it was actually came out of, into the Avir Olam. He says, you can't eat the egg, you can't eat the chick that was born in an egg, but is never, that is not alive. It's called the chick that it doesn't open his eyes. So Rabbi Yezer says, you can't eat that, right? But the rabbis argue on him, come on, later on, and they're going to bring it in the Gemara. When is that later on? In Davavan Beis. We should be zaychet to see it. Raise the shem in a couple of weeks. So they say. So they say the, the rabbis didn't argue on Rabbi Eliezer ben Yaakov about eating the stillborn chick in the egg. Elahichet the yatzal aver olam. The rabbis only argued that if it comes, like if it, if it like hatches, maybe. Avahichet the lo yatzal, it doesn't hatch. Lo pligi. So, so they're not arguing if it if it didn't hatch, if it never was born, so you can still eat it because it still has like a thin egg, maybe. Ella efroach the klipaso guzma. Rather, when it says you can eat the chick and the egg, it's an exaggeration. We're saying you can eat the chick. How much you eat the chick? Yeah, I don't. Can you eat the chick, bro? You can eat the egg. So hachanami here also tochal eat the the egg. Now, how much can you eat the egg? You can eat the egg. And the mom, like you can totally eat the, that that egg. And so, as also, it was an exaggeration. Says Rashi, Guzma. He says, "Abal be below Efshar Gazim, even though it's not possible to exaggerate." But Amar Milsa did Tofina. You can't say something that's not true. You can't like exaggerate, right? And say something which is like, I, I don't know. Milsa did Tofina. We need a gesture on that one. Milsa de Tofina. Guzma is Davar. Is Davar. Davar Stinoi. Taino is Kabel. It's just an exaggeration of something that's like not even feasible, like eating the egg, like eating the, the shell. And so that is the Gemara's answer. Now, so first of all, Shkayach, we got down to a good place to stop in the Gemara. Until and then tomorrow we're going to start a new a new sugya next tomorrow next week. Mir Tzeshem. So Shkayach that we got up to that. Shkayach that we got up to that. Let's see maybe what to what what we can do here. Now we're learning Beit Zibayim. We're learning Beit in depth. So first we saw Gemara Rashi. We saw it in depth. There's an option so maybe we can see one of the tastes in. We've seen most of the tastes and we didn't see most of them. I was thinking about I was thinking about what we're gonna do in share today. We could see a riff, and that would be Gishmak on this so yeah. But I, I there's something I want to show the thing I'll show you I'll show you say. It's over here. There's a little like yin yang dot. You guys see? By Amar Abayek go and shalak tam. It happens to be what we are on something that we saw yesterday, so we could see a little bit more Gemara to refresh it. But that dot takes us to the Gilyan Ashas. You know, the Gilyan Ashas was. Does anyone know who the Gilyan Ashas was? Rivka, do you remember? Revi Akiva Eger. Eger, nice. Wow. Do you understand that we've been learning in Shiva's Glashel for four years? I don't think we ever learned the Rabbi Kivager. The one year you come, I'm like feeling it, Rabbi Kivager. 199. Let's go. So we're going to go back to the other Brysa. Today we learned the second Brysa from Rabbi, from, from Acherim, from Rabbi Meir. Let's see the first one. 
because that's where the Rebbe Kiva Eger is on that. Something told me to learn today. Something said, like, today's the day. Tanya, Acherim Omerim. So the Rebbe Meir says, Isha Rebbe Ezmini Rebbe Ezer. Beitza, Tochal, He, Vima. You eat the egg, the egg and the mom. We say, wait a second. The Maya's Vima. What are we dealing with? Elaim, a Betanya, Golas, Omer, the Sachila. If you're telling me they were talking about a chicken that you're planning on eating on Yadif, and therefore it's not Moksa, the chicken, because you barely did a Chana for it to eat on Yadif. So, um, Pshita, obviously, that you can eat the chicken and you can eat the egg. Ella, but kind of goes on as like, no, bait him, no, 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 it's the chicken that you're keeping the chicken to have eggs, to have eggs, and then the question is to have eggs, to have more chickens, and to have eggs, eat eggs. But either way, um, it was not muhan to eat on Yantif. It's Omethus Legato Beitim Hivi Ima Asura. So then the mom is Moksa, dad, uh, the kid is Moksa, the egg. Um, or Vizera Tochal Agav Ime. The Vizera says, no, that's not what the mission is saying. It's not what the Brazen is saying. The Brazen is saying that you can eat the egg because of like, the status of the mom. If the mom is for eating, so then you can eat the egg. If the mom is for growing eggs, then you can't eat the egg. Um, so the big guy says, wait a second, hey, Chidami. So what's the case? Amar Abaye. And this is where um, Yosef's great, 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 great grandfather wrote on. Amar Abaye. Abaye says, Kigon Shalakich Astam. They just took the chicken. We don't know what the chicken is. He didn't say, oh, this is my egg chicken. This is right. He bought the chicken yesterday. He didn't even, right? He didn't even say, I'm going to have it for eggs. I'm going to have it for eating. He bought the chicken Arab Yantif. He's just like, ah, you have a big have opportunity to buy chickens. The guy's on a chicken hustle. He just got 10 chickens for 10 bucks. So he, he, he just took the chicken stam. Nishchita, if he did the shriek to it, and Yantif hover it, decided retroactively to la chila omedes that he was thinking about this chicken for eating. Lo nishchita, he didn't eat it. Hover all the guys made them. Oh, I was growing it, not to eat it, but to, to have eggs. Omedes. Right? So that's his answer. That's the first answer. What's going on over here? Why did it say him and his mom? Because you eat because of the mom. That's the first answer. The second answer is no, it's just an exaggeration, right? But the first answer is where is where is where we have the Gilean Ashas. And so he says, Amar Laksa. Now, I got a story about the Gilean Ashas about Ricky Vager. Ricky Vager was learning Gemara Ian so deep his whole life, and he was going such deep, such deep, such deep, and he had a breakdown. He had a little bit of a mental breakdown. Went to a went to the psychologist, the doctor, went to go ask the Rebbe the eight. So what do I do? Rebbe, what do I do? I'm bugging. I'm, I'm, I, learned, I, I can't. I'm freaking out for all the eight. And I'm going so deep. And like, it made him go crazy. So the guy said to him, the Rebbe, the doctor, I don't know, says to him, stay off Ian for a year. And he's like, okay, fine. I'll just learn Bikias. And so he goes through the Gemara. And he's like, oh, this reminds me of a different Gemara. So you know that we're, he's not he's not explaining what his question is. And as Rashi will give an answer, he won't give us a question or an answer. We give a You have to go to the Gemara that he quotes, and then figure out what's his question, and then figure out what's his answer. So what Gemara does he quote? He says, "Amar Abaye kigon shalak chastam." You stam took the the chicken, and then you decided, and retroactively it was decided what was the status of the chicken, and therefore what's the status of his eggs. He says, "I in chulin dav yudalit amar aleph." And I'm telling you guys, I don't know why, but I was like, today we're going to do a Gilead Ashas. And so I prepared the Gilead Ashas. Never did it before, ever. But this is Ian, and we're figuring it out. Oh, clouds by. You came just in time. We're about to do a Gilead Ashas with an anical of a Gilead Ashas. This is clouds by. Joseph Gross. Hail the Viceroy. Right, over Okay, so we're seeing, we're seeing a. I didn't even know that Yosef Gross was an aide of the Gilead Ashas of Rabbi Kivanger. The Gemara in Chulin says, Azoi, Ashochet Shabbos the Yom Kippur, and if you do Shrit on Shabbos the Yom Kippur, Avav Pisha Mischayev bin Afsho, even though you're Chayev Misa, Shrita so Kishera. The Shrita is a good Shrita. David says she gives us the the swag. I do extra. I'm learning. We're off the top now. Uncharted territories in the cool and you're down. I'm an olive. Uncharted. 
אלה שיש כנסיית דשמיא. אמר רב הונא, דרא שכיה בר רב משמי דרב. So Rav Chia Bar Rav says in the name of Rav, Asura Be'achila Liyoma. You can't even eat it on that day. You can't do the Shrita, but like it's kosher for tomorrow, I would think that it wouldn't be, right? You do Shrita on Shabbos, and, and the Shrita is kosher, even though you're chayav misa, but at least you can eat kosher meat. Oh, maybe it's kosher because of Kumle with the Rav Amine. Maybe it's like, I don't know, blabbing, I'm blabbing, I'm saying. Um, So Rav is Achila Ben the Nisbin Chavria Lemeimer. So his friends like lead him to say Rabbi Yehuda. He oh, who's the author of the Mishnah? This is Rabbi Yehuda. Um, Rabbi Yehuda, I'm a Rabbi Ava. Oh, hi, Rabbi Yehuda. Which Rabbi Yehuda? Which Mishnah? Rabbi Yehuda. I was telling you, Rabbi Yehuda, but knew which one knew. Where are you from? From New York. No, where in New York? Five towns. No, lies. No, right. So like knew which Rabbi Yehuda. Hi, Rabbi Yehuda. Um. So he says, I'm a Rabbi Abba, Rabbi Yehuda de Achana, Rabbi Yehuda of Achana. Now this Gemara is all about Achana, the preparation, and how this world, we see as Yisharim, we were saying before, we see as Yisharim, this world is preparation for the next world, and that's what Beitza is. The beginning, Ray right, Ray Lauer told me this chat tonight, Beitza, the Misakta opens with the beginning of life, the egg. And then Ray Lauer said that it ends with like Shrita, as so it was like the whole life, what's the whole life? It's just learning about Achana, preparing. For Yad, they're preparing for Shabbos. And so he says, the Rebbe Yehuda is talking about Achana, the Tznan, because it says, the reason that they say in the Gemara and Beitzah that they can't eat the egg is because they're talking about the Yad that falls out after Shabbos. And so it's Achana, because when the egg is gestating and growing in the Maham's stomach, it's Achana B'yidei Shemayim, and that's why it's Aser, which is like a wild answer, but like you see that Achana from the very beginning is like the motif And so they say the hachana, the tnan. It says, and we saw this Gemara, this Mishnah, this, this Mishnah. Mechatz gonna set the loo, and you can cut the uh, melons up before the animal. He has the nevela lifneach kolavim, and you can cut up a dead animal before the dogs. The dogs gotta eat. If a dead animal, what are you gonna do? It's it's yantiv or chalavish. So you will do that. Rabbi Yehuda Omer, Rabbi Yehuda says that. Meaning that if it died on Yantif, it wasn't the Vela Erev Shabbos. This is talking Shabbos, right? Asura. You didn't prepare it. This is the metaphor for the next world. You got to prepare in this world for the for the next world. And Shabbos is the ultimate metaphor for that. Prepare on Erev Shabbos. What we could do on Erev Shabbos, that's what's ready. And so what's Muchan? The animal, you feed it to your dogs, but it was an alive animal. You can't feed your alive animal to dogs. So when Shabbos started, it wasn't ready. So says Rabbi Yehuda, you can't eat it. Um, so he actually says, the Gehenna Shah says, to go see the toast goes, be Ramaski of Behema to Rabbi Yehuda. <laughs> I'm giving us a little bit of context, but let's go right there. Mechatzkin, um, you can cut him up. Rabbi Yehuda Omer, Im lo haisa nevela me'er of Shabbos the vishenam in a muchan. Alma, we see kevan de lo itchan me'etmol. It wasn't muchan, right? Itchan. We see the shoresh over there is muchan. The mem falls away. Um, it wasn't made to be muchan from from yesterday from erev Shabbos. It's it's a sura. Amar le abaye. Oh, we got abaye again. Didn't we just see abaye? Amar le abaye midami. Who's saying that's similar? Hasham over there meikara muchan laada. At the beginning, it, it's ready for the person, right? It's, it's ready for the person. And now it's ready for the, for the dogs, right? Talk about the, the animal. When Shabbos started, it was edible for a person. And guess what? If that person wanted to take some, some of that shrita, some of that, if the person wanted to take some of that shrita and give it to his dog, he probably could have, you know, if like there's part they didn't want or something. So it was, it was it, over there, it was mutter for the, for the achila, he checked it on Yatif and to give it to his dog. And and at the end, after the thigh is great, you can still give it to the dog. Um, ha, but hacha, over here, may kara muchan la'ada, vahashta muchan la'ada. At the beginning, it was, it was prepared for a person, and in the end, it's prepared for a person. So we got to see Rashi over there. Um, I know, we're saying, let's see the Gemara, let's, before we see Rashi, How much time we got left in Shir? We got 25 minutes. Um, they were just give us this right, no pressure. But like um, like let's see, let's see a little bit more Gemara. You can sometimes when you're seeing a Gemara, and this is the problem with art scroll. And like people like when you're learning how to learn this, and this is really the issue with art scroll, is that sometimes when you're learning, 
you have to be able to go forward in the sugya without knowing shot. People are like, oh, flat earth, you say this. I'm saying, I was asking questions. I'm able to go full forward and say, okay, the higher it's this, but let's continue asking questions, right? And, and people, uh, people don't know how to blab share and akasha, how, how to go further without knowing every single thing. That's why the chazar is so important. That's what the Messiah Sharm says in the introduction, right? Not law to Ella's Nikla Nilka me a safer as a mina kriabo pa machas, Ella ba chazara ba hasmada. So that's what we should be saying to do in this Kamar. So what does the Ba'i say? He says, over there it's Mukhan la Adam, Ahasha is Mukhan. It's Mukhan for both it's Adam and for Bahim. We're going to see Rashi soon. Um, the Hashem will come to club him, right? The Adam and Adam. Misa, wait a second. Wait a second. Remind me, Rabbi, are you a vegetarian? No. Right, Baruch Hashem. I mean, whatever you do, I'm not judging anyone, but I just, like, just like, it's just like a good thing. It's a good thing to know that, like, your friend's not supposed to be joking, joking. But, you know, okay. So this is the question in the Gemara, right? I'm sorry I even asked such an insulting question. Essentially, I didn't even ask such an insulting question. Okay. So, who thought, do we think that is a behemoth b'chayel omedes to the animal when it's alive? Is it for like achila? Like, what is the purpose of this animal? Or is it like gadil omedes to grow it and nurture it? Listen, this is the machlokas in Chazal. I'm not even putting my two cents in yet. Of course, it's a But I hear the kasha. When you see an animal, do you say mm, steak, or do you say, "Oh, what a beautiful creature of Hashem! Let me grow it and make it amazing, and then eat it." You know, uh, the Gemara does not bring um, a sheet to hear of being vegetarian. Chara, chara, not a day in the Chazal. Okay, um, so is it so lachilo um, medes or is it legado medes? So we say, wait a second, and this is what. This is what the Tosfos that that the Akiva Eger is going to talk about is this line. He says, Ihachi, if that's the case, that the animal is not just to eat, but it's also to grow and like nurture and coexist with, which by the way, I kind of like that Mahalik also. Neither the Mahalik and I don't eat the animal. It's just kind of like a like a way to to like approach. And look at at Masiyasim Adam Abato Magamato Bukoy Mechayev Koshay Abokay Mechayev. So he says, "Ihachi, if that's the case, then Behema, according to Rabbi Yehuda on Yantiv, how can you ever do the Shechita to it? Hechi Shechtinan, right?" And so the Gemara, the 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 Tiyude, the ad over here says that in the handwritten version, there's two extra letters, and it says Mukti. How could Rabbi Yehuda, we know that Rabbi Yehuda holds of Muksa, and Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai does not hold of Muksa. So wait a second, if you're telling me that an animal, a stam animal, is not omedes la'achila, then how can you ever take an animal and shecht it on yad if it's not mukhan? It's Muksa. Amar lo. So they said, omedes la'achila, ve omedes la'achila, ve So it's standing... For eating and standing, right? That's that's the medium that we were talking about and we're marveling about just just a second ago. Zalman, did you want to say something? It's gone. All good, bro. All good. Um. So that's what the Rabbi Akiva Eger is going on. By the way, we continue, we appreciate your continued presence. Okay. So it's really so it's such a schuss, right? So at the learn with an angel of the Akiva Eger. Okay, so Akiva Eger he brings this toast. The toast says like this: Behema le Rebbe Yehuda v'yadiv hechi shachtina. So the animal, according to Rebbe Yehuda, on yadiv. If you're going to tell me that an animal is not for for achila, then a stab animal on yadiv. How could you possibly shecht it? So first of all, my question is: Why can't you just say like a farachana, putting it aside, specifically? That I'm going to eat it on your That seems to be like an answer that the Gemara doesn't even come close to saying, but it seems like it makes sense. Like, why wouldn't they? Okay, so let's see this toast rose. He says, Mashma de Kasavar Abaye de Stama Lachila Omed. It implies, the Gemara implies that Abaye holds that the Stam. The stam animal is for achila. 
But wait a second. In our Gemara, what did Abaye say? Ah, oh, Abaye, Amar Abaye. It's like he took the chicken, stam, and so it's brera. If he, it, it comes, it comes retroactively. It's decided. It's Schrodinger's egg, you know. If he comes and shechs the mom, so that the oh, the egg also be the mom. He was planning on eating, so the egg also he was planning on eating. If he goes and doesn't shechs the mom, we're like, oh, it was this this mom wasn't thinking about eating, so the egg also is muksa. Implying that Abaye is entertaining this, this like superposition. Everything you hear, I just said superpositionary. So she loves when I say like BS science terms. Um, so um, it says Behema, it says like this, this is mashma that Abaye holds that the stam is for Achila. Stam, the, the stam animal is for Achila. Because he asked the question that is not the same. We have to see the Rashi. Why have we seen Tosos before Rashi? My Rebbe, my Rebbe Ilsim would have, would have slugged me up right now. He would have said, Pasha Harris, do we need the Gemara, the Gemara, the Rashi, the Rashi. But you know what, Rebbe Ilsim was sitting here with an anacle of the Gilead Ashaz and he quoted the Tosos. So we see the Tosos first. I think Rebbe Ilsim would say, oh, you have an anacle of the Gilead Ashaz. It's a different story. Okay. Um, so he says like this. The Gabi Tanigolas, but in our Gemara, Amar Abai Abai says at the beginning of Beitzah, the Omedes, the Achila, the Omedes, the Gado Beitzah. So what's, what's Yosef's grandpa's question? Saying like this, he's asking basically Tosos' question the other way around. The Gina Shas is saying Tosos has a question. Tosos has this question, and he, and, but the question, he Tosos asks it in Chulin, but we have this question in Beitzah also. That here Abaye is like seemingly like this guy who's like saying like yo yo yo, like it will be decided like yo dude dude chill take it easy, just take it easy bro. We'll figure it out when he when he does the shit. we will know if we can eat the egg or not. You know, he said oh I want that egg those eggs shech the chicken and then you could have the egg then you the mafreya retroactively. But here Abaye is saying wait a second me dummy. Who says that that's similar? Because over there, it was it was prepared for Adam, and now it's prepared for the animal. In the case where the animal dies on Yon, on Shabbos, or on Yon. But over here, it was begin. It was it was ready for a human and ready for a human also now and also from the beginning. What is the second case? Ah, now we get to see Rashi and figure out like what exactly is going on here. So it says Asura, we see the whole all the Rashi's Yom Kippur, it's Kari that's Rashi and the Mishnah. Asura Bachila Mishum Shita Shabbos, you can't eat it. Oh, on that day, Lioma, Afilu Ba Lecho Basar Chai, even if you're saying, yo, I'm going to eat this raw. Okay, we're not, it's not the part part. Nazvin Chavra, his friends, B'nai Hayeshiva. Oh, uh, Al-Daitam Lomar, they wanted to say, they thought to say that our Mishnah appears to rob the Isura Bechil of the Yoma. It's us to eat on that day. Because our Mishnah is Rabbi Yehuda. This Rabbi Yehuda that we're just seeing, this guy who loves Moksha. We explained later that he answered me, the Ketani Shabbos, two million Kippur Shabbos, like Yom Kippur. Alma Asur Bechil of the Yoma, it's us for that day. Sphere later the time of the and that's what our Mishnah guy holds. Havi Rabbi Yehuda. Okay, so, oh, hi Rabbi Yehuda, right? Which Rabbi Yehuda we ask? He's like, this Mishnah is like Rabbi Yehuda, but like, which Rabbi Yehuda? So we say, Be'ezu Mishnah, Rabbi Yehuda, Shama Rav, Da'asura, Be'achil, Yoma. Which Mishnah does Rabbi Yehuda hold that would stem with that, with um, our Mishnah? Um, so we say, oh yeah, it's the thing about preparing the Hachana, of cutting the uh, the pumpkin. A solution that's already obviously disconnected from the ground. So even if it died on Shabbos, that's what the Tanakhama, the first guy thought, even if it dies on Shabbos, you can feed it to the dogs. Rabbi Yehuda comes in and says, No, it's not Minamukhan. Etmo, yesterday, Kiddish Hill, when Shabbos started, Lo, I saw Medis, Lo, Chom, Klavim, the Michael Klavim, it wasn't dog food. The Lo, Itchan, the Lo is Dam, no, it wasn't prepared for that. Right? Oh, wait, hold on. So, uh, Al-Madul gave us, since it wasn't prepared from yesterday, it was Asher. So we say here too, 
since it's not prepared yesterday, it's us there. So let's see Rashi over there. Um, he says, Hacha bimasnis in our Mishnah also, lo um, nami, um, etmo, lo hayso mezes lekach. Yesterday, the, yesterday the animal was not standing to eat on Shabbos, or on, on, on Shabbos, you know why? Stop! Exactly. It's still alive, so it wasn't, that wasn't Muchan. It, it was not Hayso mezes lekach. Kidim mefarish va'azil lekamei 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 and also, it's a machlokas tanai because Rabbi Shimon basically doesn't hold the mukhs except for very specific cases. So, um, is that our case? Amarle Abaye. So, who's saying that? So, what's similar? Here is Muhan la Adam, and like the animal was ready for a human, Arab Shire of Yantif, and it was ready for the dog on Yantif. But over here on Shabbos, it was at the beginning, it was prepared for a human. And now it's also prepared for a human because, because, uh, oh, so, and what, what do you mean it's prepared for a human? Because it's prepared for a human by living because what, you think that an animal is just to eat? It was a question from the Gemara. See, we had to see it again. That was a question from the Gemara. You think an animal is just to eat? An animal is to, to grow and to, coexist with and to love, you know, I mean, not sexually, obviously, but, you know, a little, little duck, a little cute duck, come on. Uh, 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 goat, a hedgehog, come on. These are like the cutest things, especially a cute little hedgehog. Um, so it's to, it's to, to grow them. And so, but if, wait a second, if it's to grow them, so this is, so it's, if it's to grow them, so on Rabbi Yehuda, on Yantiv, how are you shechting them because they're not ready? And the answer is, is because they're, is this, it's for both. But that's not the answer to Abayi. You say, no, Abayi, the answer is, is that it's for both. It's not one or the other. But wait a second, isn't Abayi the Yid over here who comes to save the Sugya with the one or the other thing? That's the question of Rabbi Hidegger. And that's the question of Tosvos. Shkayach. So now what do we do? So I'll tell you, if I had a full Gemara Chulin, I can check, I can have a Farsim in Chulin, I could see maybe what the Marsha says on this thesis. But I, we're in Galas, I don't have access to all my farm. We're doing the best we can. And so now we get to do something that I don't get to do it often in Shir, but that's because I don't get to teach Ian often. But we get to do something that I learned from Rav Ilsen, who said, in the Gemara, in the Gemara, in the Rashi, in the Rashi, in the Rashi. Rav Ilsen would sometimes do this, and it would drive us all crazy at the beginning. But it was important. He would come to Shir, and he would build a sugya way like this. Rav Ilsen, Tyra, and we're just shagging da. But Rav Ilsen would build this huge sugya and then leave Shir. You'll be like, um, excuse me, like, what's the answer? You would say, I don't know, living fair. And he would say, and he would sometimes, sometimes he would answer it the next year. Sometimes he would never answer it. And the sheer was just a question. We see an unbelievable question. This Gemara is a bomb kasha. In one place, it's Davka Baye, who's the one who says, no, it's talking about, it's talking about the chicken that, and, and, and the chicken, and it's a stam chicken, and when you do, when you, when you shecht it, then it's deciding like what the status was. It's kind of like Schrodinger's cat when you check the box. When you shecht it, oh, then we know that this egg also was omed is lachila and not moksa. And if you don't shecht it, so then, you know, the egg was always moksa. It was a baye. We were like trying to figure it out. Everyone was like, oh, it's all this way, it's black and white. And the baye is like, no, 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 no. Well, I could figure it out. But a baye is, is the guy who, in the Gemara in Chulin, was like the black or white guy. He was the one who was saying, he was the one who was saying, um, that is not similar. 
time. That he, he was saying that it's either one or the other, right? He was saying, it, it was, I was still trying to express exactly what's going on over here. But Abaya was saying, here, yeah, what do you mean it was both at the same time? Please tell us. Tell us about what your grandfather is in the uh, I think you but saying, no pressure. But what you were saying before that, uh, that an animal is uh, meant to live with, but also, you know, to chill with, but it's ready for, ready to be eaten at any time. Right. So it's not like, uh, you know, catching it on, on double, double sided. It's not black or white. Right. It's not black or white. So that's what he says by us. But by Hulin, he's one of the guys who are asking the black or white question. And the reason that I was even able to ascertain that, that was happening, it was so not clear from the Gemara, but I think from the fact that the Gemara over here is answering Abaye's, Abaye likes a to make like a, a chilek, a fakira, a bifurcation, and the Gemara answers him, no, it's both. It's not either for Achila or Ligadel. But they say, but they say, they amar lo, they say to him, because that was Abaye's question. Abaye is the one who says, wait a second, then how could you find, according to Rabbi Akiva, according to Rabbi, Rabbi Yehuda, how could you find that he can eat on Yantif, an animal ever, if it's just, if it's just Omedes, if it's just Omedes le Gadel. So Abaye must know, don't know it's Omedes le Achila. That's Abaye's question. And then they answer him, right? this is Mamash Abaye's question, Iachi, that's so. So then how can you eat it according to Rabbi Yehuda? Every animal would be automatically muksa because you're not you're about it for it's not for eating, it's for it's for chilling. It's, it's for chilling, right? So they answer him and they say no, it's both. And Abai was like, wow, I never thought of that. That's a big steer in Abai. Did I make a bracha already? I think I made like a thousand Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'll give my in my own words, Hashem. Thank you for letting us learn Torah in Yerushalayim with the anical of of the Rabbi Kiv Eger. First time that we're learning in four years, she was Gula Torah Rabbi Kiv Eger. First time that Yosef is in Shir with us, and it so happens to happen, and I didn't even know. I didn't even know he was going to be in Shir today, and I prepared the Rabbi Kiv Eger. It's Mamish, seven Mamish. minutes, seven um, minutes. Okay, seven minutes. So how are we going to end Shir? We're going to end Shir today, saying, "Wow, huge stira, huge question." In in Abaye. Maybe this story happened in Hulin. And then he's like, oh, I remember this actually. The answer is, you know, I mean, I don't know if we can say such a thing, but that's Yosef's grandfather's question. And that's Taka's Toso's question. Now, if I had a Hulin with a Marsha in the back, I think I could find the answer. If I had a Hulin with Eddie Mefarshim, maybe I could find an answer. We have five minutes left. What are we going to do? We like to do some chazara with a with a kli. But is it the three weeks? But are you? I think you're allowed to play, especially if umanu sobekach. Especially because you might be in your most mashiach now, and therefore making a suda on tishvav. There's still hope for this year, you know. But seeing after October 7th of how bad the government here is and how against us they are, it seems like Yerushalayim is not really in the hands of Am Yisrael yet. If it's in the hands of these satanic pedophiles in the government, and therefore it might still be Kedai to fast on Tisha B'Av. But there is the time to say that since we have Yerushalayim and it's Yidin, it's Kosher Yidin. Look, Matovo Lachiyakov, Mishkan Eisechi Yisrael, we can see right into the next person port but people put up has agree uh uh umbrellas and so we're going to be learning Tyra in Eretz Yisrael in Yerushalayim Er Kaidash dream Amish come true and drink delicious juice and stay Tyra and next week we're gonna start with a new sugya and be able to see hopefully a riff and a ron and a bunch of raba I'll tell you what we're going to do we're going to see Rabbeinu Chana now we don't see it so much but when in, in yeshiva when you're trying to figure out a Gemara in yeshiva in life 
We're trying to figure out Gemara, and you can't figure out exactly what's going on from Rashi. You see your man, he's like, yeah, I got you, bro. So I say, like, well, we got, we got uh, five minutes left this year. See, maybe your man, it's not a taste this. I would see a taste this. It's not a taste this. This is Likute Rashi, but Rabbi Khanal. Let's see. Let's see. That's a big ego of Rashi. So we're talking about we're talking about this Rabbi Mayor and the two answers. Do you remember the two answers? Do you remember the two answers? The first answer was that it's it's her and it's mom, and it's a bias, big chiddush of no, it could be both that you're chilling with it, but then you're gonna eat it. What? And so when you when you eat it, it's split up. It's decided which one, which what's the status of the egg. Do you understand? You eat the mom and you decide the status of the egg. Dad, do you understand what the Gemara is telling us? How connected we are? How connected the the mother and the father and the egg is? Do you know who I am in this metaphor? I am a little cute egg. The cutest. Yeah, I'm a little cute egg. Why? Like I'm a little cute, I'm a little cute egg. You know, I'm a little cute egg. I might not be the perfect shape, but I'm still your egg, you know, Dad. All right. So how about how about oh because we see your Hanana? Okay, fine, I like that idea. But the time you bait the toka who be emo. That we said that you eat the egg, that and the mom, the afroak, the klipaso, and you eat the mom, the, the 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 egg and the mom and the chick and the and the shell, guzma, exaggeration. Oh, full circle. We started to cheer with the guzma, went off to a little Ian, a little a little gillian ashas, and now back to the guzma. Kill Laimar, says Rabbi Rabbi That is to say, enon devarim nechaynim. It's not true. It's not real. It's not we're saying like real words over here. The clip of You can't eat a shell. And everyone holds that the Afroach the Klipazo called him Shiatalavir Olam Aser. And everyone holds that the 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 chick in the shell before he's born is Aser. Yikes, Mr. Vedu Khanano was not the easy sheer ending of Vedu Khanano. I was hoping for, but let's see it again. So, first of all, Vedu Khanano, he only brings, I know what to do, he only brings, he only brings the second case. He doesn't bring the first case. And I'm like, wait a second, what does the riff say over here? It's the riff tomorrow or next year, we're going to go in and we're going to see the riff. The riff starts a nice thing. About about the next sugya, but what about here? Yodov no the bechol says. No, it just says like this. It just says like this. Agas beitzis shall be yodiv. Agas beitzis. Nah, it's also not right where. Shnei yom tov shor shara. Nah, it's also like not where we're at. Oh, okay, find the fire, find the place in the riff. So the riff doesn't bring any of this guzma stuff lechayra. The riff only brings it if it's lehalacha. But over here, it happens to be that I was looking for it. There's not a Rambam in sight of the Gemara that we just learned, all of the Gemara, those two things. The Rambam doesn't pass in the halacha. And maybe the reason is, is because the riff also does not pass in the halacha. We'll end here. We have one minute left. Rava over here talks about Hachana, because he says, doesn't pass up. That they went and they got the mod on the sixth day. We learned from there, Teo Raisa, Chomechin the Shabbos, the Chomechin the Yantif, the Ain Yantif Mechin the Shabbos, the Ain Yantif Mechin, the Ain Shabbos Mechin the Yantif, the Ain Shabbos Mechin the Yantif. So we see how important different days are and getting our straight. Bar and try to ride the race car of the body through the maze. and maybe it's more like a boat, like we learned by Baba Boat Rava Baracha. No, here we also have Rava talking about Hacha. No.
we got to prepare in this world to be the Kabbalah Shabbos Kaidesh. Another week of five Shiurim is such a schos. And we should be Zoha to learn more and more. Next week, go five for five again. Do Shir number 200 on Sunday and then go back there from then. You should be Zoha to the Kabbalah Shabbos Be'ava, Be'simcha, Be'zoha to get better in our Avaidah.